Welcome to experiment number four. You can see uh, I've got my goggles on even though I'm only doing the introduction to the lab so far. I've got my lab handout and I've got my scale already here but I'm going to move that over to the side for now. And I've got my report sheet over here with my name on it already. And uh, first thing I'd like to say is that this lab is going to be a little different than some of the other labs. This lab there's actually two parts. In part one, you're going to be watching videos and writing out reactions that occur in the videos. And in part two, there's going to be an actual procedure. And uh, the videos themselves, I think, are relatively straightforward, but I'm always open to preparing some uh, additional video help or answering any questions, of course. Let me go through my materials list here for part two, though. Oh, yeah, you can see part one, types of chemical reactions. You're going to have to do uh, watch a video, answer some questions, watch a video, write your observations, and then a balanced uh, reaction equation. Um, but enough of that. Let's make sure we've got all of our materials. Oh, and another important thing, and I'll say this in the intro on the learning management system, is that you there is a 24-hour pause while we let some reactions finish and go to so which means go to completion so you do have to do this more than 24 hours in advance of the due date or even uh, given that there are some calculations all right the first thing on our material list is the magnesium ribbon and that's in your kit and it comes in a plastic bag and this plastic bag has two things in it it has the magnesium ribbon and it has a diffraction grating and the diffraction grating just looks like a little tiny square piece of plastic. And try not to touch it except at the very corner. If I can even see it. Where'd it go? Oh, it's in my hand. <laughs> anyway, I've got it right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little tiny piece of plastic. Don't lose that because we'll need that for the next lab. And then here's your magnesium ribbon. And uh, my ribbon is already a little shorter than yours is. Uh, it should be about 12 inches or 30 centimeters. I've been doing some experiments already. Uh, there is a little bit extra built into this, it turns out. So there's my uh, magnesium ribbon. I'm going to just put that back in my bag to hold it. And vinegar. Well, I've got the big container of vinegar here. And if I brought it with me, I may not have. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> Uh, yes, I have. Uh, we'll see we need five milliliters of it and exactly five. So I've poured that out in advance. Egg, hard boiled. Oh, I should write that hard boiled. Uh, you do not want to do this <laughs> with a non hard boiled egg. Uh, and really, it's the shell of the hard boiled egg we need. And I've got three or four of them there just in case we do a couple takes of this. Baking soda. Any baking soda will do. I've got your typical arm and hammer. Uh, let's see, 25 milliliter graduated cylinder. My 25 mil graduated cylinder already has my five mils of vinegar in it because I know what's coming. A 250 milliliter beaker. Clean and dry, actually. I should write that too, but we won't now. A plastic spoon. Same plastic spoon as last time a 50 milliliter beaker, a 100 milliliter beaker, and a 25, oh, it says that twice. Well, we only need one of them. Okay, um, and a scale. I've already shown our scale. I just recharged it a little bit, so hopefully it'll keep all the way uh, through this experiment. And everything's clean and dry because I just cleaned it, except for maybe that thing. Well, we'll give it a quick rinse. And uh, so what I would suggest, uh, you can do this in any order you want. Oh, you will need uh, your paper ruler as well. So I'll write that on those two. Uh, and then we're ready to go.